friends, family, lovers alike, just taking a moment today to speak briefly about what I'm calling the spiritual reset. You know, we hear about the Great Reset, and to understand as prophecy is coming alive in the days that we are living, to recognize for ourselves, you know, what can we do here to have an impact not only on our planet, but how can we ourselves really arise through this time that we're facing. And so one way to look at it is to really consider are we hardening or are we in fact softening through this time, not only for us but the people around us. So you can look at um, how we have been coming from a society, from a culture, and a, a time in our evolution that's been very much out of balance towards the masculine. So much that some would say it's even violent in how we're living, and of course how we're treating our planets is a good example. Um, but it's gone so far out of balance that a lot of us are having to push, push, push ourselves and put a lot of pressure even on the people around us because of the pressure that we ourselves are feeling. So this is an example of the hardening. And of course, as the circumstances around us become more difficult, we may go further and further into this idea that we have to push hard where only the strong survive. And so we may in fact harden within ourselves, within our life, and harden on the lives of those around us. As we're feeling the stress, it sort of ripples out. So it's good to pay attention to this also because the people around us may be hardening. And for myself, I notice my interactions with what I'd call the outer world, you know, or the general population here, even where I am. I'm very much in a nice bubble, but interactions within the general public um, can be really difficult. And I feel myself softening in a sense, I'm allowing myself to feel more deeply within myself, allowing myself to open up my energy field more because I'm spending more time in nature. And so very much I'm softening and moving further and deeper into more balance and more into the feminine aspects of the goddess energy. But I can see and feel how much the people around me may in fact be hardening more and more through this time. They may be coming more strongly, more forcefully in their ways and how that can be really difficult for me to navigate and um, in a sense it's forcing me deeper into my sensibility, it's forcing me deeper also into um, balancing my softness and my hardness to find you know, the middle path between the two so that I can really navigate both worlds and so what I'm seeing for myself is that I can still remain soft in my way, but I'm also having to be strong in my energetic shield. And so part of this also includes going deeper and deeper into the softness where I'm able to just live within my own bubble, to exist within my own space, and to further and further more deeply not get affected by somebody's interactions, which in some cases may be like yelling, like, don't do this, don't do that, you know, which happens here quite a bit. And um, of course, not to take it personally is one thing, but to, to feel the energy of that being transferred to me is really like penetrating my energy field. So I'm really having to learn to, yeah, create a stronger field around me and to really be in this, you know, space of eternal love, which isn't so easily affected by those around. So I'm really just being more in my center, more and more deeply. And I'm seeing like the craziness being thrown at me and observing it more and more like it's not even real, you know, in parts out of compassion and empathy, like understanding maybe the pressures that they're feeling in their life and this is their way, but like also honoring myself, honoring my path and knowing, you know, that I'm not needing to absorb this energy or this, you know, aggression. So more and more I feel that I'm able to further embody this softness 
and not fall into the idea that I need to be hardened, you know, for this world. And I think the, the middle path also obviously includes being able to discuss these things and suggest, <clears throat> hey, it's okay, you don't need to speak with me like this, I hear you, and I thank you for communicating this to me, and to really do it in honor and, and appreciation and acknowledgement because I see most people are used to having to fight to be heard and fight to get their way and in some cases it's like police on the side of the road like with the stick like needing to to fight to be heard and it's like wow actually no we hear you and I'm not here to argue with you you know so more and more hopefully we can allow those around us to soften in their ways uh, especially if it's family or friends or people that are very close with us to you know offer our softness our love our compassion our empathy and understanding towards another person and allow them to realize wow okay i don't need to be so hard actually i don't need to fight anymore and so more and more we can transition into softness and allow others to soften through this transition and hopefully of course through this transition as we are moving from one cycle to another from one era and into potentially the golden era we are able to really support each other and come together in our softness within our hearts with compassion and not get stuck in separation and competition when things are going difficult to be fighting against one another and going further and further into becoming more hard and therefore more destructive towards us, the people around us, and our planet. So here we go as we're able to find the middle path of softness between the, the masculine and the feminine, and to really just honor this day the best we can with love, with grace, wishing you many blessings to you and your family as we continue through this great time of transitioning May we recognize that we are together, as always, as family, with love. Yes.